Hello world, I am Henry from TechLore, and today we're gonna compare Brave Search and DuckDuckGo in several different categories, so I'm very excited. Um, I have a little script here, I don't normally do that, but this video is okay, this is a casual video, it's gonna be all right, you guys are gonna live. Um, so Brave has a brand new search engine that's in beta, um, which is very exciting, so whether or not you like Brave, the more options we have for search engines, I think, the better. I don't know why you wouldn't want more options, but I know some of you will disagree with that for some reason. Um, so we're going to go and take a look at it and how it compares with the most popular privacy-oriented search engine, which is DuckDuckGo. If you're watching this video and you follow the privacy world, you've probably heard of them before. Um, this video is not going to cover which service is more trusted and which is better for privacy, right? Um, for convenience sake and to just compare the search engines themselves, we will assume both parties are privacy friendly and protecting your search queries, okay? DuckDuckGo has valid criticisms, which I'm aware of, and Brave has valid criticisms, which I'm aware of. This video is not comparing who's more private because frankly, there's not even a very good way of doing that because you're pretty much just trusting these central entities anyway. So we're not doing that. We're assuming they're both protecting your privacy. All we're doing is comparing the usability. I know I'm still gonna get comments that are like, well, Brave sucks. I don't really care. You can leave those comments. It's not relevant to this video. I would like to say that Brave Search is in beta, so it's not technically a complete product, and I will fill you in with more details as we test to give a bit more context on the places that are missing and what they're expecting to do about those, and also some of the things it's already doing better and why they're doing better. Um, it does do some new things which are pretty neat, so I'm gonna try to give you context as we go, and hopefully the testing helps show what I'm talking about. Um, we're gonna go ahead and kick right off with search results see who offers better results. I'm gonna be using a brand new Tor window for each new respective search engine to prevent any possible accusations that they're somehow tailoring uh, search results to me personally. I'm gonna be setting the region to all regions for both search engines, and they're go both gonna be on moderate for safe search. Um, yeah, I know someone's still gonna accuse something of happening, but it is what it is. I'm gonna do everything I can, and you guys are still gonna hate it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start represent tech lore. You guys know it. So just to verify with you here, um, all regions is selected, safe search. I'm gonna set to moderate, like I said, and this is set to all regions. I know it says Germany at the top, you have to enable it. It's set to all regions. Safe search is moderate and anytime, okay? We set people, this is in Tor. You can see the side windows here to prove it's Tor. All right, so right off the bat, um, I'm gonna go here, um, so our website comes up on the top for both of them. I do like how DuckDuckGo gives some web pages from the top website. This is pretty cool, because you can just directly go to like our videos page, our contact page. Uh, Brave Search does not do that. Um, this does have the fake tech lore, they're fake, um, at, at the third one here, and then this one has it at the second one. Um, so our YouTube channel comes up second, this is like the third option. This actually has the fake tech lore come up twice. Our PayPal one comes up, interestingly enough, but yeah, overall, this seems like the only irrelevant choice here. Um, there are, yeah, this is not, TechLock is not related. Our library page does come up. So I guess it's cool that DuckDuckGo favors library here. And then our AMA did come up. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'd say overall, if I had to choose a winner here, I would give it to Brave Search. Um, they're both pretty darn accurate. I don't think either one is wrong. Um, it's just, I see more relevant results and I see more things related to us when we type Techler here on Brave Search instead of DuckDuckGo. Um, just to stay on the trend, we have Go Incognito Course. That's our course. You should go check it out. Oh, that's a typo. I'm going to be copying and pasting just to be safe. The homepage for Go Incognito's website comes up at the top for both of them, which is great. Then there's the video. Um, and then this shows our Go Incognito homepage on our website. And then this shows the GitHub page and then our website. Um, it looks like Brave Search kind of has an irre irrelevant one here, and then an irre another irrelevant one, whereas it looks like DuckDuckGo might offer more. Yeah. So I am going to give... Oh, that's interesting. So Brave Search looks like it struggled a little bit, and down here it's going to recommend find it elsewhere through Google, Bing, or Mojik. Um, DuckDuckGo, we're going to talk more about where results come from at the end of this comparison to give you more context behind this. But it, I would give this result here to DuckDuckGo, not by much, but I would say DuckDuckGo definitely gave more relevant results here, even though it still gave some irrelevant ones. Go incognito is a very broad search term, so it's kind of expected it's not going to be perfect unless we had like the world's most popular course. Up next, privacy tools. 
Okay, so there's privacy tools. Ah! Oh, it didn't copy properly. Cool, cool, cool. All right, same thing. I'm a big fan of how DuckDuckGo gives you the web pages here underneath the main search. Um, Brave Search does not do that. But like this gives you Google privacy tools and then a Harvard privacy tools project, privacy tools list.com. And it, interestingly enough, gives them, it gives the peer tube of it. Yeah, it's in, this is weird. I, I it, Okay. I, before I continue, I do want to say this is my first time using Brave Search. So I do know quite a bit about it, but I've never actually used it. It's weird because they're recommending Matrix and PeerTube, which are like two pretty low-key federated um, communities. So DuckDuckGo, and they recommended Library earlier. So it seems like DuckDuckGo seems to really like pick out those like kind of niche things. Um, but Brave Search definitely gets probably the more likely things, like the GitHub, the Reddit page, their Twitter. Does their Twitter even come up? No, their Twitter doesn't even come up on DuckDuckGo. Um, and then their GitHub does come up down here again. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this to Brave Search, to be honest. Um, they both have a couple irrelevant results here, but I think DuckDuckGo definitely has more irrelevant results. Okay, now I wanted to ask it some questions. So how to delete update file on iOS? All right, so this is gonna come up with a random website first, and then Apple's official forum post comes up second, which is nice. And then you're just gonna get a lot of random pages that take you through it. But it looks like they're all relevant. Yeah, they're all relevant. If we go over to Brave Search, the same top search comes up, and then it looks like a random website, random website, random website. Does it even come up? Yeah, okay, so the Apple one, that's not the, that's not the same one as this though. Oh, okay, so this is, comes all the way down here. I think DuckDuckGo is a pretty clear winner there. Um, okay, definitely a DuckDuckGo win for me. I, I don't think I'd... I always like to go to the official source first, and the fact that the Apple website is so far low is definitely not a good sign for me. I would I would have... If I did the search organically, I would have clicked this option right away in DuckDuckGo, and it's the second option here, so definitely a win. I wanted to think about more like realistic use cases, so I always look up weather. So I'm gonna do weather in Seattle and see, I already know what DuckDuckGo does because I've seen this all the time. But yeah, so DuckDuckGo uses dark sky and it's gonna give you um, the next week and every single day it's gonna give you a time. It does default to Celsius, which I think is kind of annoying. Um, I use Celsius, but like if you're looking up Seattle weather, you're probably gonna be using Fahrenheit. Um, I think Brave Search, I, let's see what they do. So Brave Search does use Fahrenheit by default. I don't know if that's because of it's a relevant location that's going to be using Fahrenheit or not. But yeah, it looks like uh, Brave Search uses Open Weather Map. And yeah, I'm not going to compare the accuracy of, of the weather. Uh, obviously, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it looks like um, I do like it looks like they both show humidity. They both show wind. Brave Search allows you to show more, but that just takes you to the actual web page. Um, same with DuckDuckGo. Um, it looks like it's pretty much exactly the same. So no major changes there. Um, I did wanna see definitions. So define anticipation. So it looks like Brave Search uses Merriam-Webster and DuckDuckGo is gonna use the American Heritage. Just, I guess, context, context behind that. Um, I do not like the interface on Brave Search. I think this is kind of messy. It's not pleasing to the eye. It's not clear that these are five different definitions. Um, whereas this is very clear, like noun, period, definition, noun, period, definition. Um, I very much prefer DuckDuckGo's definition side of things here. Um, not that Brave Search is wrong and I couldn't live with it, but it's a comparison, guys. So now there's the classic one, how to tie a tie. So, all right, all right, things are starting to differ here. So Brave Search is going to recommend a video at the very top. And then it's going to recommend a website, 17 different ways. And then, okay, this is cool. Brave Search is giving us people also ask. Um, this is very Google of them, right? So Google has a very similar thing where like it interprets it as a question and it's like, oh, here's some other questions that people ask. And it tries to kind of give you a quick answer without needing to access the website. I love that. I know some people don't like that, but I love that personally. Um, over on DuckDuckGo, they, they have images first, which... I can't say I like. It is cool that they have a WikiHow article here. I don't believe, yeah, Brave Search doesn't have anything like that. 
Um, so it's cool, it integrates with WikiHow, but I don't like how images are at the top. Um, I would rather have a video come up at the top, but that's just me. Bit personal preference. The video does come up as the third option, and it looks like the main website that's featured is completely different. Um, ties.com is featured on Brave Search, but it's like the fourth result instead of the top one. So it looks like there's a bit of variance. I don't, this is kind of like a, a personal preference search. So I think some of you watching are going to instantly like DuckDuckGo better than Brave Search. Personally, I'm going to give this to Brave Search. I like this format better. Yeah, I, that's all I got to say. I like the format better for Brave Search. I think this is something that I'd find more useful personally. Now I wanted to type in some like random projects to see how well it finds just projects that are a little bit more low key, maybe like niche for the privacy community. So I wanted to type Calyx OS and see what comes up. So the, web, the main website comes up on Brave Search, which is pretty awesome. DuckDuckGo, um, main website comes up, then the Calyx Institute, good stuff, good stuff. And then it recommends GoFoss. Um, and then this website and another Reddit page comes up, then Twitter. Um, interesting. And then the help page. All right, um, I, I'm not a huge fan. They get the top stuff down, so that's the important part. But everything beyond that, the Reddit and Twitter comes up. And outside that, it's kind of just random stuff. Um, Brave gives you the top four, which are all, I guess this one's not too relevant here. I wish it showed just the Reddit, but this is giving us a privacy tools IO subreddit, which is interesting. So the top three are relevant. Yeah, at least their GitLab comes up here though. Hmm. I'm not thrilled with either. Both of them get the top result down, right? The top two as a matter of fact. And this is actually, look at this. Um, Brave Search actually has um, these pages laid out here, but I don't really see that going on in any other website searches. So I don't I wonder why they chose to give you these web pages, the sub pages here, but DuckDuckGo kind of always has them. Um, either way, I still actually prefer the options that DuckDuckGo gives you instead of Brave. I think overall, I, if I had to choose, I would give this to Brave Search, to be honest. Um, I feel like they, they're a little bit more relevant here on Brave Search, but I, I feel like they're pretty equal if I had to say. Next project, Briar, the, the messenger. Okay, so their website comes up at the very top, which is awesome. Then there's a definition. One thing, um, this is a really interesting one because Briar is also a plant um, and Briar is a pretty low key project. So we're gonna really test these out. Um, definition comes up second and then it recommends videos, which I think is really cool. So the top two videos recommended, um, and this is mostly YouTube based. Um, there's not many Briar videos in the first place, so that might actually be the only Briar content on YouTube. But it looks like the videos are relevant. Um, it gives the Google Play Store, it has a random site here, um, a random Wikipedia page, random Wikipedia page, random Wikipedia page, but then the software comes up at the bottom. So the, the Wikipedia page does come up, even though it's not high up, which is pretty impressive. DuckDuckGo, it's the second result, right? So the definition comes up first, and then it gives you images, then more definitions, and then the Briar Project download page down here. And Briar Software Wikipedia page does come up. Um, I, I would give it to Brave Search. Brave Search got to Google Play and it recommended videos instead of images, which I think is more relevant here in a context of Briar. Um, so there's that. They're both pretty close, but I would definitely give this to Brave Search, especially since Brave Search got the project at the top result. Let's go to WeVPN. I do know that WeVPN does not have good SEO for DuckDuckGo. So yeah, their support page comes up to the top and then like a proxy add-on and then their Play Store. That This is not very good SEO. They're, you would think their homepage would come up at the top. So we're gonna see how Brave Search handles this. This is showing results for WebVPN. So we're gonna do WeVPN. Okay, no, this is good. This is much better. This is a clear win here for Brave Search. Yeah, yeah, that, no debate. It sh gives the homepage, it gives their Twitter page, it gives their Google Play Store, and it gives, I guess, like a tech radar review of them um, instead of whatever this is. So yeah, yeah, overall clear win for Brave Search here for WeVPN. Um, let's go to Simple Login. All right, um, again, I'm a fan of how DuckDuckGo gives you these pages on the front page. These can save a couple clicks and I oftentimes use them because I normally know exactly where I'm going to when I'm searching up for a website. Um, this doesn't give you that and I wish it did. This gives you their GitHub, then the Chrome store. This gives you their Chrome store and then that's kind of it. Their Reddit subreddit does come up and then their iOS app does come up. 
Every single thing here on Brave Search is pretty much relevant to them though. So again, like I like DuckDuckGo's pages here, but I gotta give the results to Brave Search again here. We'll do one more project. Uh, how about we'll do Anon Addy just to give some love. Anon Addy comes up at the top, then their GitHub, then their Twitter. They're two Twitter accounts? Question mark. Okay. Um, again, DuckDuckGo, I like this better, but we'll see the results. Interesting. I'd say these are pretty equal results, to be honest. I do think Brave Search looks a little bit more relevant. So if I had to pick, I would say that. Um, I do like the videos. So, I mean, these are two of our videos right here. So that's pretty cool. Can't complain about that. But um, definitely, I, I do think that outside the videos and the pages, I think overall the results are better on Brave Search here. One thing I really like about Google is I can ask a question in Google and it'll just give me the answer without needing to go to an external website. Something like, what day is Christmas 2021? So we'll ask it some questions. Um, and Brave Search does not give me an answer. So that would force me to go to an external website for something that should just be a basic question. And DuckDuckGo doesn't either. So um, neither one really wins there. I wish it did. I could have sworn DuckDuckGo offered results for that, but I guess not. Um, how about how big is the earth? I know that's a stupid question. That's not how you should ask the question, but normally search engines, like that's how you want to search. Um, nothing there. Hey, okay. So Brave Search does give some basic stuff. It's going to give the radius. Um, let's see if we can get more specific here. Um, radius of the earth. Let's see if DuckDuckGo then supplies something. Okay, it does. So um, it's definitely a little bit more picky. I feel like this is needlessly complex. So I actually almost prefer how DuckDuckGo just gives you a quick answer. And it, like, the cool little icon's pretty nice too. I can't complain about that. Okay, they both give you the answer. They actually give different answers, funny enough. Um, I'm, I'm assuming there's a little bit of variance there. I'm not gonna blame that on them. How about we try the calculator? Um, do, 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 do. Calculator! All right. Okay, okay. Um, so this has scientific by default over on DuckDuckGo. Okay, you have to set it to scientific. Oh, you got a cycle. Oh, it's a toggle. That sucks. All right, um, Brave Search. Um, I'm guessing they're both accurate. We're going to assume that. But I don't like this toggle. I have to toggle between basic and scientific. Like, look at all this wasted real estate here. Why would they not just... <laughs> That's stupid. If you click scientific, it should pop out over here. It should keep everything here and pop out the scientific stuff on the right. Um, or just do what Brave Search did, which is keep it all on the same page. Yeah, Brave. So, <laughs> all right, let's let's go back here to a, to a good starting point so we can summarize. Based on just raw search results, right? Like we're just doing basic searches, text searches. I found myself liking Brave Search results better, um, but not by like a lot. Right, I mean, most most of searches gave us the accurate results, but I think more times than not, I kind of preferred Brave's results. And when DuckDuckGo won, it was barely by anything, and there was a lot of ties. So overall, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them, but based on just this quick comparison I did, I found myself liking Brave Search better. So there's that. Um, now, as for context behind that, um, and there's a little bit more context beyond that. So. DuckDuckGo, a lot of people don't know this, but DuckDuckGo gets most of their results from Bing. Um, so here's a great website. I'll leave it in the description. It's called the Search Engine Map. So DuckDuckGo is technically a meta search engine, meaning they don't actually crawl the websites themselves. Um, they're just using Bing and Yandex mostly. So it's going to say that right here. DuckDuckGo retrieves results from Bing and Yandex. Um, DuckDuckGo loves to come out and say, we supply hundreds of results from different search engines and it's like, it's mostly being in Yacht, like Yandex. Like, let's be real, right? Now, the cool thing with Brave Search, so Brave Search currently does kind of do that. So Brave Search currently does get some results from these search engines. However, their end goal, right? The Brave Search end goal is for them to be their own search engine. So that's a much better long-term solution, in my opinion. I think it's cool that Brave Search is trying to do that. And since it's in beta, they are kind of helping their results by giving some other results from other search engines. But again, in the long run, they're hoping to completely drop all other search engines so it's just them. I think that's really cool. That's something worth mentioning that you should know. Um, just a cool thing to think about. 
Now, um, I did want to talk about images. Let's do a quick image test. Um, the first one, I want to give a bit of context and we are using Google because Google um, is very good with context. Um, I'm going to type what's a computer. Google knows I'm referring to the classic meme of this little stuck up kid who has an iPad and is kind of an asshole. So Google gets context really well. Um, right, like this can be a very literal question. What's a computer? But Google knows that I'm not referring to a computer. I'm referring to the meme. So if we go back, um, I already know this because I've tried this test on DuckDuckGo. If you follow us on Twitter, you know that I pasted that because um, StartPage gets Google results and StartPage got that right, um, but DuckDuckGo didn't. So if you look here, um, DuckDuckGo takes it very literally and these are the results. Um, this uses Bing for results as well, by the way. Um, and then Brave Search. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say Brave Search uses uh, Bing as well. And it looks like they do. It looks like almost identical results, actually. So, yes. It looks like they're, yeah. Um, we can do another quick test just to double check that. But Seattle. Seattle. Yep. Yep. Exact same results. Um, and just for f further proof, if you want that, um, look at the, so safe search, safe search anytime. Um, all sizes, all types, all layouts, all colors. I'm guessing uh, Bing has some kind of API that you can hook into that's going to give you the same exact filters as the ones that you can find between the two services. So there you go. If we go to news, so it's news in Seattle. I'm guessing they're both going to use Bing as well. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This city um, with Tinder Dry Forests. These, it has these two at the top. Texas Rangers. Rec okay, it's a little bit different, but it looks like it's still giving pretty much the same results. They're just in a different order, but I'm seeing a lot of similar articles here. Um, either way, I don't think people use the news tabs very much on search engines, um, but that's cool. DuckDuckGo has something called banks. Okay, if you don't know how these work, let's say you type something like Seattle, but let's say DuckDuckGo gives you terrible results for Seattle. Um, you can just type a bang, so G exclamation mark. You can do W exclamation mark, which is going to give you Wikipedia results. G is going to direct you to Google. A is going to direct you to Amazon. W, Y, T is going to give you take you to YouTube. So what happens is, right, at the very end, you just type G exclamation mark, and it's going to type in the same search on Google. Now, we're on Tor, so we're getting captured, of course, um, but a better example, S is for start page. So I typed Seattle, I just added an S exclamation mark, and you're going to see it automatically inputted the search through start page. Voila. Very useful because if you want to quickly navigate hundreds of search engines right from the same place, that's how you do it. You can do YouTube. It's going to do a YouTube search. Um, you can do Amazon. You can, there's so many. DuckDuckGo has literally thousands of these. Um, the cool thing is if you set DuckDuckGo as your default search engine here on the Omnibar, you can use these in your Omnibar as well. So you essentially have access to thousands of search engines right in your Omnibar. Very cool. Um, I heard someone say that Brave Search has this as well, but I have not tested Brave Search until this video, so we're going to see if that's true. Um, so I'm just going to use a start page bang. Um, and it does it. All right, that's a welcome surprise. That's very cool. Let's see if it does that with other things like Amazon. Not that I should use Amazon, but let's see what happens. Yep, there you go. Amazon.com slash search Seattle, and it searches Seattle. Very cool. Um, that's a very welcome surprise. Um, bangs are very much, at this point in time, like a necessity for me. So I'm very happy to see that. No one cares, Brave. So let's go ahead and recap where we're at so far before we go through the last few things I want to talk about. Um, let's go back to a starting base. Techlor. So images, exactly the same. News, extremely similar. Videos, pretty darn similar. One thing, DuckDuckGo has maps. And I really like the maps. And just to show you like what this means, um, if we do uh, Seattle to New York directions, I assume nothing's going to come up on Brave Search. Yep. So it's going to give you websites, like third-party websites, but DuckDuckGo is actually going to give you instructions. And you can choose Apple Maps. You can choose Bing Maps. You have several options that you can use for directions, which is really cool. It's cool that DuckDuckGo allows that, and it's a very great place for maps. It's pretty underrated. DuckDuckGo has the shopping tab too, which I don't particularly like, but it is an option, and Brave is missing both maps and shopping. Um, it is in beta, so we might see that in the future, but that's just an FYI. 
Now, in terms of the results themselves, I found Brave Search to be better. Um, you saw them yourself, so you can make up your conclusion. Maybe you liked certain things better. Um, one thing that was consistently better about DuckDuckGo was this, the sub pages. That is very cool. Brave Search only had that for like the Calyx OS website for some reason. But overall, I found the results to be better with Brave Search. That's just based on what I saw and what my preferences are, and you guys can disagree with me, but I found Brave Search to be better. So that's overall really impressive, a really cool win. And I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Some other considerations, availability. Um, what, what I'm talking about here is like the ability to set something as your default search engine or in, in the Omnibar. DuckDuckGo, as of right now, is like the most popular search engine with an emphasis on privacy. So like on iOS, for example, you can set DuckDuckGo as your default search engine on Safari, which is really cool because you only have four options. Brave Search really can only be used as a default, um, at least a default using like the drop down options in browsers within Brave. That's it. You're not going to get options in your Firefox browser to use Brave Search yet. Um, you should be able to manually add that to most browsers, right? That's always an option. But just know availability of this is a little bit low and the, if, the amount of friction to add it as your default search is a little bit high. One final thing, DuckDuckGo does supply ads. These are ads that only rely on the search query. So if you type in um, something like candles, it's gonna give you candle ads. It's only gonna use that search query though to supply you ads relevant to that search. So it's a privacy friendly first way of supplying ads. Um, Brave does not currently have ads, which is currently very cool, but they've very much been firm and very much announced that there will be ads someday. They're not hiding that. They're saying, hey, once it's out of beta, we're probably gonna have ads at some point in time. So Brave Search will eventually have ads. I'm guessing it's gonna be done the same exact way, like a privacy first way. Again, we're making the assumption that both companies here are privacy friendly. Um, it's hard to prove otherwise until something goes horribly wrong. So that's kind of the assumption we have to make. Final thoughts. Um, I'm actually thoroughly impressed. I wasn't expecting Brave Search to be so good. This is my first time using it. And I had honestly lower expectations, especially because they announced that they're trying to do like their own search results and not be a meta search engine, even though technically they are kind of a meta search engine right now. Um, overall though, I'm really impressed. I really like the interface. It's really clean. I think the main selling point for Brave Search in the long run is going to be the fact that it's going to use its own results. I think that's what I'm most excited for. And that's not something we can currently test because they're still kind of a meta search engine. So I'm really excited for them to be their own independent search engine that's out of out of big tech altogether, right? Because at the end of the day, DuckDuckGo is completely reliant on Microsoft because Microsoft owns Bing and Bing gives DuckDuckGo a majority of their results. Um, this was actually recently seen with the massacre that happened in China, which was um, completely censored on Bing images, right? Um, and DuckDuckGo, in turn, had that censored in Bing images. So if there is ever a situation where results are being censored or unfairly um, favored over one another, for some of you who are concerned about that kind of stuff, DuckDuckGo would be impacted by that, whereas something like Brave Search wouldn't, assuming Brave Search is supplying accurate results and not doing something like that. So that's something that would be cool in the long run. Overall, this was fun. Yeah, I can't say I disliked it. Um, it's one more option at your disposal. Um, obviously, I think people are either love or hate Brave. Uh, if you hate Brave, even if you think the results are better, you're probably not gonna use this. If you liked Brave, you might already be using it, but this was just a video to show you how they compare from a usability perspective, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more stuff like this, let me know. It's fun to do, um, and I get to learn something along the way too, because I've been meaning to test this out myself for a while now as well. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time on TechLore, and peace out.